now we are going to improve the application performance let's talk about lazy loading i'll show you how to implement lazy loading and how can we use can load guard i'm also going to talk about preloading feature module in this video we are going to talk about implement lazy loading the agenda of this video is what is lazy loading why do we need it and how to implement in our demo application first of all i'd like to talk about the eager loading and lazy loading we have implemented the eager loading in our demo application because we were importing feature module inside the app module so what exactly is eager loading if we want to load the feature module eagerly we need to import in our application module similarly we have done that we have imported the post module to do's module in our app module eager loading is useful in small application eager loading means all the modules will be loaded before the application starts let me show you with the help of demo if you check our application and you will see the post module and the to do's module these modules are feature modules so if you don't want to implement lazy loading then you need to import into our app module so this is the concept of eager loading it means when you start the application the contents of this module will be downloaded but if you are working with lazy loading you don't need to mention it here when user wants to view the post then contents will be downloaded let's say user does not want to see the to do's we don't allow our application to download the to do's content if user will click on the to do's then our application will download the html and css stuff for this to do's module so this is the concept of eager loading now we are going to talk about lazy loading it is a programming practice in which you only load or initialize a module when you first need it the same concept here now if you are working with lazy loading we don't need to do that i'm going to switch into my branch now you can see that i have deleted this post module to do's module i'll also show you how to implement it now i want to show you the real magic i'm going to run the application you will not see any post module and to do's module and first of all i would like to log in it will navigate to the post and you will see the post module here you can see that this is the lazy loading if i want to see the to do's it will display the to do's now you can see that to do's module has downloaded and the contents of to do's module is downloaded the lazy loading can improve the performance of your application let's say if you have 50 modules you have divided your application into 50 modules you don't need to load all the 50 modules when application starts that's why we need dynamic or lazy loading advantages of lazy loading it can help us to decrease the startup time because I don't need to download all the 50 modules when it starts the application. The same concept here. We do not need to load everything at once. It only needs to load when the user expects to see when the app first loads. When user will navigate to our module, then the contents will be loaded. Here is an example. We have a customer order post user and manager links. let's say these links are in angular application and we have divided our application into these five modules we have a customer module order module post module user module and manager module when i will load the application i don't need to fetch all the contents of this module it means i don't need to load all the module once i can implement lazy loading here when user wants to view the order details then we have to download the contents of the order 
actually we need to allow our application to download the ordered contents. Let's say if user wants to view the user detail, then we have to allow our application to download the contents of the user. So how will you implement the lazy loading? You have to implement the load children. It is telling how this module will be loaded. So it load children is telling to Angular router. Basically it's a lazy loading technique. This post module will be downloaded when user will click on the post link. This to do's module will be downloaded when user will click on the to do's link. Let's talk about how to implement lazy loading in our demo application. I have already attached source code. You have to open it and start implementing the lazy loading with me. First of all, I need to comment these two modules because these two modules are feature modules. I don't need to import them. When user will click on the post link, this module will be loaded and downloaded. The first step you need to comment these two one. You also need to change the path because I'm gonna add the link of these to do's and post inside the app routing module. You have to change the post to empty path here. The same is here. I don't need to put to do's here because we are gonna add a new route here. Path should be post and the load children. I know this is the weird syntax. It's a relative path. You have to provide the relative path of the post module. I have created the post module inside the post folder and you will see the post module. And this is the hash here. And this is the name of the class, which is post module. Relative path, hash, and the name of the class. This load children is basically telling to Angular this module will be loaded as a lazy or dynamic loading. So it means we are gonna use lazy loading here. So how do you check the modules are loaded lazy or not? Let me show you. I have already showed you the process. Now you will not see any to-do's module or post module. I'm gonna log in and it will navigate to the post and the post module will be downloaded. You can see that. The same with to-dos and you will see the to-dos module is loaded. 